but saying I will never ever do something, especially when you are a face. Are these the most confused content creators or not? Anyways, guys, in this video, you get to understand why I said all this. This is a YouTube couple, Kira and Killian, and they've been on the YouTube street for the very longest time ever. They started doing YouTube a while back, pranking each other, you know, thriving in pranks, making so much money from pranks and all that. They decided to scrap the pranks and, you know, they started doing family vlogging. And, you know, they've been doing pretty well for themselves on YouTube here until they decided to stop family vlogging. You get to hear all that. But this couple got married when they were quite young. So they got married like, say, 19 and they went viral with that video. Right now, they are like 25 and, you know, they've done well for themselves. You get to find out all that and more in this video. So I want us to listen to what they said on family vlogging as to why they stopped family vlogging. Yeah. We didn't get a chance to talk about this before I did this. I did private everything. Like even a vlog that we did last month? No. Oh. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't know. Which, what do you think? Oh, I you have to extremely disrespectful. Uh, disrespectful? Yeah. You feel like I should have consulted you yes. before I did it? I think so too, but you weren't here. And I just did it impulsively. And I can always unprivate them. But like, what do you think about that? About you privating them or just them not? Just everything. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Um. I'm still a vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had you guys had Kyra there. She said she's still a vlogger because she still vlogs on her own personal channel. And that is one thing I want to applaud them for: the fact that her husband was not comfortable with vlogging anymore. It didn't stop the wife. He wasn't comfortable, but she was still doing a vlogging thingy because it was what she wanted to do. Like, a man shouldn't just be in control totally of a woman where she doesn't have a mind of her own. She can't do her own things anymore. So she was still a vlogger even when they stopped the family vlogging. I think that's the funniest thing about all of this is like, I feel like it seems that maybe we came down like harsh on like vloggers and family vloggers and stuff. But I'm like, no, I still do that. Not family vloggers. Did we come down harsh on family vloggers? We stopped because you wanted to stop. Yeah. It's definitely, it was a you thing. Yeah. And I don't even think it's a forever thing. Honestly, no, I, it is. I don't, I don't, I don't I, think I'm going to say, I'm going to overcommit and say it is. I'm done forever. I don't know if it's a forever thing, but I do think that you need something more challenging. You guys heard. Where Killian said, I am done forever. That is why on YouTube, you have to be very, very careful. This couple, they have 1.8 million subscribers and the views they get on their channel these days is as low as, you know, 40K, 30K and the likes, right? See him saying, I am done forever. And the wife was still trying to tell him, oh, I mean, I don't think it's a forever thing. Probably, you know, as a young man, you just need something more challenging right now, which he started doing podcasts on, you know, some platforms. He did a podcast about abortion that they came hard on on him i didn't have access to that podcast it would have been very lovely to listen i don't know if it's free if it's paid for probably i'll do more investigation about that but it came hard on them okay but let's just keep listening i think but i do think that you need something more challenging oh uh, it's challenging i thought but i feel like vlogging wasn't challenging enough to you it was challenging for like, it is like challenging. For it to be the only thing that you do i think the reason that we're stopping now is a lot of people don't even know this but before we even like popped off on YouTube and did pranks and all that. We did, um, we did vlogs, like we were vlogging. So I've been vlogging since high school, which is so weird. Like I can go back on the private videos which I've never even seen and go and look at how I looked and how I spoke and what I thought and like what I wanted to accomplish. And it's just so weird. But I privated all those videos and then we, when I prank, like started popping off, I privated those. So the people who I saw those, those two or 3,000 people were just like, what happened to the old vlogs? What happened to the old vlogs? But I like was quiet about it. Mm -hmm. And then we got this new audience that didn't even know that it existed. It was kind of like, oh, who's this random couple that just came out of the blue in their first video? It was like 3 million views. <laughs> but so it was five years up until that point that I think we've been vlogging. And now it's been five years, over five years now since we did those pranks. And a lot has changed in five years. And I don't think that my next five is going to look like my past five. At all. It's, that's, that's actually a good way to put it. And yeah, of course, your, your life is supposed to, you know, change as you grow. 
but saying i will never ever do something especially when you are a face like i stopped vlogging on my on this channel and i couldn't you know imagine myself not doing vlogs i just enjoy putting out my life out there you know showing tiny bitty snippets of my life i have 24 hours in a day and probably once or twice in a week i show you my life i just enjoy doing that even though i changed the channel initially i just could not wait to start vlogging until i started the vlog channel again and i might not be getting so much views on that vlog channel yet or i've not monetized the channel but i just enjoy the fact that i think about it and there's a vlog channel where i can just put out tiny bit snippet of my life creates memories it makes me happy right now the story is changed but let's still listen to what Killian is saying that way if they ever just want to like you know get a little bit of nostalgia they can go and click on the link and like check out the playlist so what he did was he privated all the vlogs like all the beautiful memories I don't think the pranks are even there anymore Privated everything that they've created on that channel right they are no longer on that channel you won't see it and then let's just keep listening but as far as just being able to type in my name and then you just see a big hickey prank on kyra okay i think that the prints can be gone but the vlogs the vlogs yes yeah. okay the vlogs the other reason is we shared a lot of our life we showed a lot of our life and not even just mine where i can consent you where you can consent but also our kids in their journeys in their births and like the more that i think about this as an almost 25 year old man which means my brain finally is like fully developed i'm like is it you're not 25 yet <laughs> <laughs> so the wife was only you're not 25 yet okay you never went at the 25 you're coming down your brain is fully developed yeah right so the wife was not even support of them you know taking down the vlog she was like let's keep doing this vlog team let's leave it know how i feel about that like jokes aside i'm really having this big issue balancing do i want that much of my kids on the internet mm. no i'm not against family vlogging will we ever vlog again probably kyra still vlogs but like fam, the way that we were doing it every single season every single oh so and so's six so and so's tooth came out like I don't really know. So I don't think there's anything really wrong with family vlogging per se, right? But I just think you can sieve out the things you put out. You don't need to put out every tiny bit of details or things that happen to you. You don't per se owe everyone that detail. But if you put it out here, know that people are going to talk. I put out my life here. I, nobody's talking about me right now. I'm not big. But as soon as I start getting the audience, there are possibilities that people are going to talk. Oh, Barney goes the way Akishin was that day. Gosh, so disgusting. So, I mean, like, you have to sieve out what you put out, you know, for people. If you know you just want to put a video, like, probably you have a memory of a family and you don't want it to be lost, you can just edit it, upload it, and put it on private. You don't need to bring it out for the world to see if you feel that is something very personal. But, I mean, that is a place where you can just archive it and keep it forever. And you can even just put it on unlisted and only those you give the link to would have access to it like your husband or your you know family your children in years time and he was saying that he was not comfortable with the fact that their kids a lot of their kids life is, is being shown on the internet people have different beliefs people are you know think differently as regards of that that i understand i for one i have kids who want to be on the internet i know they are still very young now so even though they are still very young to know what they want or what they don't want i try as much as possible to still show them in the best light and not you know show the negative things about them right i hope that is understood maybe this video is called core life crisis <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i think the prints can be gone i think the vlogs need to stay i disagree well because i even think the vlogs are part of my own portfolio oh of like Growth. my journey of motherhood postpartum um mm. and so yeah i do think that I feel like I have the right to want it to stay up. On our channel? Yeah. I didn't expect you to fight back against me on this. Yeah. Because I feel like part of the reason like vlogging even works on my channel is because I already have a history of the vulnerability of like what I've shared through our channel, mm -hmm. um, the stories I've told. Um, so you can see the wife, they're just trying to give him reasons why, you know, she still wants to keep vlogging. And how, you know, the vlogs they've done on, you know, their family channel is in a big way part of her life. And as to why she has grown or she's growing the way she is right now. But her husband was not having it. I'm actually in a season where 
I'm just reconsidering um, a lot, thinking about a lot. So it's okay to reconsider, think about a lot, but finally, finally, they put up a video on their channel and said they're starting back with the vlogs. I want you to hear it from them yourself. I think I'm going to put insert some clips here of them saying they're starting vlogs right back on their channel. August. We haven't vlogged in eight months. I feel like I've gotten a proper year-long break. And in so many words, I kind of miss y'all. <laughs> kind of. Um, but nothing, nothing is like vlogging. So that you edit from them, they're starting vlogs back because they feel like, you know, the fact that they stopped, you know, vlogging as a family and everyone was just doing their thing, you know, I mean, they still talk at night together, but I mean, they were not having so much family time and whatever. I mean, it's their choices. I'm just happy that they're starting vlog back. But what I'm trying to bring out is before you say never, ever, I mean, like, sometimes you don't even, okay, well, it's good you inform your audience about whatever decision you're taking on your channel because... There are people who are subscribed to you, following you, enjoy what you do. So it's important that they shared, you know, what they felt and how they wanted to go about it. But never say never. Anyways, Kyra and Killian are back with vlogs. So if you used to love their vlogs, please go support them right back. And I feel so terrible for them that their views, you know, plummet down. I mean, views can affect anybody on this street. Anyways, they started vlog back. And let's just see what they chunk up going forward. And their comment section was locked, like locked. I would have loved to drop my toes there, but it was locked because obviously I think they are being attacked in the comment section because of the things that, you know, Killian said, right? I think they are being attacked practically. Anyways, guys, this YouTube street, it is interesting. It is fun. And you get to interact and meet with people from different countries that you've never met and that you might have never gotten the opportunity to meet just being in your house. What do you think about these whole teams, them stopping, them starting, and everything you heard them discuss in the video? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.